Hey YouTube, Happy New Year. Uh, so I thought I would kick off the year um, on the right foot, and what better way to kick off the year of 2017 uh, with an unboxing. So uh, I've been eyeing this box set for a long time. Um, as some of you may know, I am a huge wrestling fan, and I love um, just watching the WWE on a weekly basis. Um, even older videos like I, that I could catch on YouTube or um, the WWE Network or Hulu. Um, I just, you know, I just consume all of it. And so um, when I saw this box set like almost a year ago, um, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Um, and I was mostly excited about the Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. Um, I haven't watched too many matches of Barry Windham and Tully Blanchard. Um, I may have when I was younger, but I was probably too young to really appreciate it. Uh, I do know that I think Tully Blanchard had a good feud with Magnum TA, but I didn't really appreciate it when I was younger, so um, maybe even as an adult I could really catch up on it. Um, so I've been waiting for this figure this box set for a while and originally the price was $49.99 but I saw it on clearance for half of that this time around $24.98 and I got um, a gift card uh, for Target for Christmas and I saw this and I was like you know what I can't pass it up so um, yeah I'm, I, I, I just purchased it and um, I think I'm going to do unboxing now. So hey guys, this is the first time you're seeing me on camera in the new year. So happy new year and I hope you had a great Christmas, a great uh, a great new year. It had um, many great things happen to you on the holidays. Um, had a great time myself, great time with the family. And with that, I'm going to continue. So uh, with... This is the back of the box, and it's really badass because you get to see um, uh, you get to see each of the characters in their own particular light. Um, you get to see how they look in real life, and I thought they did a pretty good um, characterization uh, on each of them. I thought the molding uh, was really nice and the detailing is good so um yeah so without further ado i'm just gonna take them out of the box and it slides out really nicely um and it looks like they have them on a bit of a platform so i might have to uh i might have to preserve the cardboard um unfortunately my um you know like we're at spaces that are premium in my apartment, but I'll try to find a spot for them. Um, but this is really cool. It looks like the Hall of Fame induction stage, uh, and um, you know, just the platform that they're standing on, uh, with the uh, the Titantron in the back, with their graphics, um, and that's really cool. I mean, that's also something to really have um in the background um as far as the display goes um so i'll probably keep the, the hardware background um so let me just pop these guys out and i'll i'll show you them individually now the good thing about um the packaging on wwe elites and is that there's no twist ties. I hate twist ties. I've, I've broken, I've, I just broke a lot of toys in my collecting years of uh, with twist ties. I mean, just I'm just very impatient. I think that a lot of it has to do with me. But uh, it has plastic um, rubber bands on the back to reinforce them. So all I did was just cut them in the back and just pop them out. Easy peasy. Here's Ric Flair. If I can just get that guy out. Oh. 
There you go. So there's Ric Flair. And of course this is a younger Ric Flair during his, uh, I would say his NWA days. Um, long hair Ric Flair uh, before the WWE and the WCW when he actually had tone um, uh, on, his, uh, on his musculature, uh, which I'm a real big fan of. Um, sad that I don't have a Steamboat figure because they had an epic feud back in the NWA. Um, really cool figure. And let me pop out Arn Anderson. And it's really cool to have an Arn Anderson figure. Um, I don't think there's as many... Um, Arn Anderson, there's not that many Arn Anderson figures out there as far as the Mattel line goes. Uh, but this is really cool to have him. I think they did a really nice job on the build. Really nice job. The sculpting is really nice. And of course you got Barry Windham right here. And I thought they did a really good job of they did a really good job uh, with the sculpting as well. I think each of these are really sculpted well. Um, I think the the paint applications are great. And I like how they all feel kind of vinyl. You know, like that. I'm I'm glad it's not shiny plastic because it just doesn't make any sense to have your wrestlers um, or your like realistic figures in shiny plastic. So last but not least, um, here is Tully Blanchard, and um, interesting fact. Um, Tully Blanchard's daughter is actually in NXT right now, which is really awesome. And I think, um, well, yeah, his, his daughter's name is Tessa. I think his daughter is dating Ricochet, which is really cool. You know, if they have kids, that's like, um, wrestling royalty. I mean, I love it when, uh, you know, there's like third or second generation wrestlers and this is really cool to have. Um, just to have the four horsemen, you know, and then later on we may have a Tessa Blanchard figure and um, Yeah, just to have like the family tree. That would be really cool So this is uh, the inside packaging of uh, What these figures were in and if you look at it um, I'm not sure if you I can get that right, but um, if you look at it, it looks like a stage and, you know, all I need is like a podium and a microphone and it would be perfect. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this cardboard. I'm just going to cut the plastic, but I'm going to preserve this cardboard. And when I have space to display these guys, I am totally going to display them in their original cardboard. I, I don't want I, you know I took them out of the plastic because I want to pose them but you know some of the some of the packaging really works for displays and they re work really well and I think this works really well because it looks like the Titantron that they use for the Hall of Fame classes and this is perfect you know this gives you know this signifies you know a certain time and place and you know that is important to us and you know, this was important. You know, Hall of Fame 2012, the uh, the Four Horsemen made a significant impact on you if you are a wrestling fan. And we definitely got to keep this because it reminds us of that, you know, that nostalgic feeling, that great feeling that you had of just watching them and, and listening to them speak and then reminding yourself of all the great matches that they had. So... Um, sorry about the long tangent, but yeah, definitely keeping this piece. 
So uh, continuing with that theme, I took out the um, the Hall of Fame background from the packaging, and it really serves well as a um, a background for these figures. You know, if you want to display them on your shelf, so um, I took it out and I put it in front of a trifold board. And so I'm just going to go into detail with these figures. Um, so since I ended with Tully Blanchard last, um, I think I'll start with him. And so if I put him here, and I put him against the Hall of Fame uh, background, it just gives him a dynamic, uh, sorry for that, guys. It just gives him a dynamic feel to him, you know. It just gives him... You know, it puts you back in that um, Hall of Fame induction, you know, inductee um, moment when they were all on stage. And of course, they didn't come out in their ring gear because, you know, they're much advanced in age nowadays. But, you know, putting him in front of uh, this background is a really cool, um, you know, it adds a different dimension to this. You know, um, of course, it has, this figure has all the regular uh, WWE Elite um, articulation. You know, you can move the head left to right, um, you know, and there's good uh, articulation in the head. Um, you got ball joints for the shoulders. Um, you got that cool ab crunch that I'm a big fan of. You don't get this with the basic... Um, you know, toys. Um, you got the you got the joints and the elbows. Um, you could move the wrist uh, in the three sixty motion. You know, and then, oops. Then you could, you know, move it front and back. Of course. Uh, then you know you could you know, you got the twist at the the hips. Then you got the the cuts on the the thighs so you can turn it 360 you got the ball joints at the, the upper thighs and then you got the knee joints which actually is hindered by the pads but not too much you could, uh, you could even slide them down um, you know as it happens in regular matches then you could you know you could twist the uh, the, the boots 360 um, and then you got the uh, the ankle, which moves uh, up and down it's slightly, but not too much. And then you got, so I think I got, oh, so um, going back, um, so Barry Wyndham was second to the last, so he'll be second in this segment. And he just looks really cool. The vest is awesome. Got the pony tail in the back. And he has more of an intense face to him. Intense expression, I should say. And I just love how, like, the texture of these figures and even the accessories, they have that vinyl feel. It's just a very nice matte finish and it's just um i'm glad it's not the uh the really shiny plastic because that, that never made any sense to me and then of course you can't miss out on arn anderson the enforcer one of the most badass wrestlers of all time Uh, my favorite spine buster of all time. He just, if you ever have a chance, look up this Arn Anderson spine buster. Um, yeah, just one of the greatest spine busters of all time. Uh, you know, just looking at it, it make you feel like, you know, you're hurt just watching this. And then, of course, you can't miss the man, the myth, the legend, Ric Flair. And I know there's a, 
another Ric Flair that came out just recently in Defining Moments, which was the, the older Ric Flair, um, and he has a robe and everything. That looks really cool, and you know, maybe someday I can get that. But um, for now, I'm going to cherish this Ric Flair because this is the first Ric Flair in my collection. And I've got a huge, I've got actually not huge, I keep on using huge. I've got a pretty sizable um, wrestling collection. Um, you know, uh, got a few, few gems here and there. Um, but I'm really going to cherish this Ric Flair uh, because it's my first one. Now I can build epic matches against uh, with him against what uh, Randy Savage and I think I got a Hulk Hogan. Um, don't have a steamboat, but yeah, Ric Flair. He's just gonna make everybody look great. So this is my set. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy I got these guys. Uh, yeah, so happy New Year's, guys. Um, I hope you guys all um, had a great new year and um, yeah, happy collecting. Thank you. Thanks for watching.